But just to mention the other plays very quickly, uh, so Beatrice was very, very uh, nicely received. Cabecite was a controversial uh, opera uh, when it came out because uh, I wanted to explore interracial uh, romance uh, and it is a comedy and set it in a place that is not associated with people of color and that was Quebec City. And I deliberately, that's why I call it Quebec Cité, playing on Quebec City or Quebec Cité, although of course it's really Ville de Quebec to pronounce it properly and to give it the proper name. But I was also playing off, off the actual word Quebec Cité, and it's an actual word in Quebecois French. And Quebec Cité means what it, the spirit of being Quebecois, what it means to be uh, Quebecois, your Quebec Cité. Uh, so I wanted to use the word for, for those reasons as the title. And I set the action, which involves two black men, one South Asian woman, and one Chinese woman, uh, all in their 20s, uh, in Quebec in two, Quebec City in the year 2000. Uh, and it raised a lot of hackles, uh, understandably so, uh, but also problematically so, because there were some uh, white critics, uh, Anglophone and Francophone, who objected to the fact that I had no white characters in the play. Uh, who felt that that okay. I was being racist by not having a white character as a as a major or a central character in the play, that that I was being untrue to the real nature of Quebec when what I was actually, which is an interesting comment on what people might think of as being the real nature of Quebec. My understanding of the real nature of Quebec is that it's always always has been a multicultural society, thanks in part to slavery. Thanks in part to the fact that that one of the first Chinatowns in North America, if not the first, was in Quebec City. It was demolished in 1960, but it was one of the first places. Who was it established? Um, in the downtown core. But when? Of the old. Uh, like 19th, 19th century, at some point. Um, and in fact, uh, Quebec City, about 10 years ago, was thinking about rebuilding the original gates. They represented Chinatown, essentially as a kind of tourist attraction, because they demolished it and, and then people moved as they prostrate moved away anyway. Right? But but uh, I always saw Quebec City as being and Quebec in general, uh, as being fairly multicultural. Uh, not take anything away from the Francophone majority, settler majority, not at all. Uh, I know they're there and I'm happy they're there. Uh, and and the play is not says nothing in opposition uh, to that culture. And even though the play is in English, it's understood that all the characters are bilingual. Um, and that their issues are, are not about language. Their issues are not about being in Quebec or being tacitly or truly Quebecois. Their issues are around gender and around race. Uh, the Chinese uh, Canadian woman's parents object to her having a black lover. The uh, uh, South Asian woman uh, character uh, rejects the sexism of her would-be black lover. So oh my God, wow. those are the issues. And by the way, it's all in rhyme. Right. It's in rhyming octosyllables. And, and, uh, and I was partly influenced by the Umbrellas of Cherbourg, like Parapluie yeah. de Cherbourg. Mm -hmm. So it's a very colorful play, too, uh, and, and, uh, and deliberately a comedy. And it's like everybody gets married at the end, and they're all riding Vespa scooters. You know, it's, it, it's a, so a, have, have a any good tickles time. Here? Any tickles outside of Quebec? Uh, yeah, it was actually done as a play in Ottawa. Uh, GCTC? Uh, no, it was a French festival production. Okay, but nowhere else? Nowhere else. So wait a minute, the Poet Laureate of Canada <laughs> cannot get this play any other productions. No, it was done for, I forgot to say, it was done for the Guelph Jazz Festival. They commissioned it in the first place. Okay, that's great. Yeah. But it hasn't been done in Winnipeg, it hasn't been done in Toronto, it hasn't been done in no. Halifax, it hasn't was... been done in uh, Calgary, it hasn't been done in Vancouver, it hasn't been done in Fort St. George. No, no, the no, song, no, no, no. The no. song cycle has been done at Rochester, of all places. The Rochester Institute of Technology invited us down to to do uh, just the songs right not to, uh, not the actual drama oh it was also done in Vancouver I forgot at the East End Cultural Center they did it 
uh, in, in 2003, uh, but it hasn't been seen or heard since uh, really 2005. 